guys, welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. Today's video is not going to be a very happy one, but it's going to be a thinking one. Today I want to talk about the Yulin Dog Meat Festival and more so the response from people about this festival all over my Facebook, all over YouTube. A lot of people are talking about this festival, calling it cruel, you know, and people are signing petitions all over the world trying to stop this festival from happening. Now this festival is held in China. I think it's already passed but I'm not sure. It's a three-day uh, dog meat festival in China where I think about 100,000 dogs are slaughtered. Now, obviously, as a vegan and a dog lover myself, I, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. It really is. But I want to ask the question, is this festival really that big of a deal? Because if you look at the bigger picture, look at the world from an outsider's perspective. Just look at the world and you look at this festival and it's just a very tiny percentage of the amount of animals we kill on a second by second, minute by minute, day by day basis. I mean, the number of animals we kill are in the trillions, I believe. And it's incredible that we are so focused on this three day festival. Now, I hope that this outrage and all of this commotion about this festival brings a bit of logic and sense into some people. Hopefully this will shine some light on what's actually happening all over the world every single day and not just three days out of a year. Now I come from a culture, um, I was born in, I come from a culture, I was born in Korea and I moved to Canada when I was eight so I come from a Korean background and Koreans are, I guess, somewhat known to be dog meat eaters as well. And I remember when I was like 12 or 13, I just remember this. I remember talking to people online, like I was just chatting to people about dog meat and eating dogs. And I was talking to these people that were, you know, protesting against dog meat and eating dog meat. And I was telling them, I was like, how can you be protesting against this when you eat you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, when you eat pigs, chickens, cows, every single day and you are like actively protesting against eating dog meat, what really is the difference? This is just a difference in culture. I mean, and that was my, I was like 12 or I was like 13 and I was still eating meat then. So it wasn't like I had made the connection, but I had made, you know, I already knew that there was no difference really in eating dogs versus eating cows, chickens and pigs. The only difference was cultural difference. That was it. And then it wasn't until many years later that I really made the actual connection and stopped eating meat altogether. What is the difference? There is no difference. The only difference, literally the only difference between eating dogs and eating cows, chickens, and pigs is where you were born, what society you grew up in, and what was acceptable in that society. It doesn't mean that one society is better than the other. It just means that that is the society you grew up in. You didn't make the choice to start eating meat. The society you grew up in made that choice for you. When you were growing up, you were eating meat, dairy, and eggs, and you probably didn't think twice because nobody questioned what you were doing. Because people don't do this on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't reflect on a day-to-day -day basis. You just kind of do what everyone else is doing, whatever is the standard in our society. So the reason why we are so upset over this dog meat festival is because we grew up in a society where eating dogs is not acceptable and where dogs are loved for and cared for and adored. Now, if we grew up, if I grew up in Yulin, is Yulin a place? I think it is. If I grew up in Yulin, China, and I ate dogs from when I was a child, I probably would have absolutely no problem with eating dogs because I grew up in that culture. Just like most of the world grew up in a culture eating cows, chickens, pigs, eat, you know, eating dairy products, eating fish. Because you grew up in that culture, because you're so entrenched in this culture and because of social conditioning, we've accepted eating certain foods. We've accepted seeing those foods as foods, whereas 
dogs we don't accept as food simply because of our social conditioning and the culture we grew up in not because there's any difference in morality or ethics you know eating dogs or eating cows chickens and pigs there's absolutely no difference in morality all of these are animals that feel pain that love their families that you know that want to live, that don't want to die, that don't want to be stuck in small cages, that don't want to be killed. I mean, what is the difference? I ask you to really reflect on yourself. Stop looking at what everyone else is doing. Look at yourself, okay? If you're still eating meat, dairy, eggs, and you still haven't really made that connection, and you think it's completely fine to eat, you know, all of those foods and participate in industries that kills trillions of animals per year I mean if you think that's completely acceptable but you are somehow you know grossed out or disgusted by the dog meat festival then ask yourself why why are you not disgusted by what's happening every single day behind slaughterhouse walls why are you not disgusted by the food on your plate how do you think it got there it's very very easy for us to you know, constantly judge other people for what they're doing. But we need to sometimes just look at ourselves. That's the first step. That's the most difficult thing to do is to look at ourselves and change our own habits. Now, I've seen a lot of different arguments and obviously very not very many logical ones for why people don't support the dog meat festival, yet they eat meat, dairy, eggs, all of that stuff. And, you know, a lot of people's arguments, again, are not logical because, you know, most of us don't really think logically because we are, we're never really forced to think logically. So one of the arguments was that these dogs were pets um, that were stolen from families, which is extremely devastating, of course. I mean, yeah, I just, I can't even imagine it, but they were pets. They weren't designed to be pets, whereas Cows, chickens, and pigs, these are farm animals. These are designed to be factory farmed animals and designed and bred for the purpose of human consumption, whereas dogs are not. Again, that is just your perspective as to how you see how you see the world. You know, in China, I'm sure they have dog farms where they raise dogs for meat, um, but the Western society protests against that as well. There's something really cruel and something really disgusting about saying, well, th those animals, they were just designed for that purpose. They were just bred for that purpose. As if we, we should have the say in what their purpose is. As if we, as if being bred for the purpose of consumption means that we can do whatever the fuck we want with them. You know, if I was born in a factory and someone had decided for me before I was born to work in this factory for my entire life would it make it okay because just because that was already decided upon that's that was my that was the intention of my birth is to be a factory worker no it wouldn't be okay it's not up to you to decide how someone else lives their life it's not up to us to decide anyone's fate and yes, maybe those cows, chickens, and pigs are bred for the purpose of human consumption. But it doesn't make it any less wrong. It doesn't make it any less disgusting. And it doesn't make it any more moral. A lot of people just like to shield themselves from the reality of what's happening because, again, they don't want to change themselves. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard to change, you know, what you've known what you've always known it's hard it's very difficult to look at yourself but listen to michael jackson and start with the man in the mirror <laughs> sorry i had to so once again i ask you guys if you are really upset by this dog meat festival you very well should be okay i absolutely agree that it is disgusting it needs to stop but this dog meat festival is not the only thing that happens that needs to be stopped Every single day you are participating, if you eat meat, eggs, if you eat dairy, you are directly participating in what you personally don't even agree with. If you actually saw these animals in these factory farms and the conditions that they go through and the lives that they lead before their ultimate death, 
I mean, it should disgust you. It disgusts most people. Most people can't look at this footage. There's a reason why we can't watch this footage. There's a reason why it makes us, you know, cringe and it makes us turn away because it's not something that we actually want to do and it's not something we actually want to participate in. So all of you animal lovers out there, if you're still eating meat, dairy, and eggs, please ask yourself the question, do I really love animals? How can I love animals and participate in this kind of industry? A lot of people, when they come across vegans or, you know, when they argue with vegans, the first thing that most people will say, I have no problem with vegans, you know, but I have a problem with vegans, you know, pushing their beliefs onto mine, you know, forcing other people to believe what they believe. Why are you not respecting my decision? And this is, I believe, this is a very popular viewpoint of non-vegans in the Western world. Every time, you know, there's a vegan that talks about veganism and how, you know, eating meat is immoral, there's going to be someone there that's going to say, well, you know, again, you can do whatever you want with your life as long as you let me do whatever I want and happy days. Now, if that is the popular viewpoint from non-vegans, then why are there petitions with people, you know, protesting against the Stock Meat Festival? Why don't we just let them do whatever they're doing, you know, live their lives the way that they want to? Why don't we just mind our own goddamn Western business? Why don't we just let them just do what they do? You know, that's just their culture, that's their choice. Why don't we let them do that? And Why do we not just shut up and just live our lives the way that we want to? Why? Because there are victims. There are victims. This is the hypocrisy, guys. A lot of people say, oh yeah, just let me live my life, let me eat my meat, but then they go and sign a petition to stop a dog meat festival. So what what is the difference? The difference is that you don't want to change what you're doing and you can't seem to reflect on yourself. You need to start looking at yourself and thinking, why am I doing this? The reason why we can't mind our own business, just like the reason why you needed to sign that petition if you did sign that petition to stop the dog meat festival, the reason why we protest, the reason why we do all of this is because there are victims. Whether they're dogs, whether they're cows or chickens or pigs or fish or whatever they are, they are all sentient victims and they are all in need of our help. Culture is not a reason to continue to do all of the atrocious things that we're doing to these animals dogs included, cows, chickens and pigs, dolphins, all sorts of animals included. We can't keep doing this. But again, you need to look at yourself first, guys. You need to look at yourself first. Stop judging other people. Just please think about the repercussions of your actions and, you know, how your actions and where you spend your money and how those things affect the world and the environment and other animals. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe share this with somebody if they are still eating meat yet they choose to, you know, protest against this meat fest this dog meat festival. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you join me here on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh see you guys later. Bye.